Welcome to the Myers Detox Podcast. My name is Wendy Myers. Today we have James Gorin on the show, and he's going to be talking about a very, very important topic, and it's about the voltage in your cells and how your cells work through having a certain electrical voltage and how EMF, electromagnetic fields, and other factors in our environment like dirty electricity lower the voltage in our cells and therefore dramatically negatively impact their functioning. And some ways on how you can improve the voltage in your cells, your cells to improve a multitude of health issues, symptoms, and disease. Because if your cells work properly, your body will as well. And so he is one of the consultants at Pure Wave Now. This is a company that makes a PEMF mat. It's a pulsed electromagnetic field mat. And they have other devices as well. The company works with uh, hundreds and thousands of doctors around the country delivering pulse electromagnetic field to thousands and thousands of patients and the results are absolutely astounding. This is one of the very first companies in the 80s to patent uh, their device and everyone following that is just a copycat and even what we talk about in the podcast producing harmful mats, producing harmful electric waves, harmful EMF in these mats, and why buyer needs to beware. So we're gonna be talking exactly how the cells work, how the pure wave mat improves cellular functioning to dramatically improve pain, fatigue, and just get the body detoxing better even. We touch on that as well. James, thanks so much for coming on the show. Oh, thank you for inviting me. I, I really appreciate um, being able to get some word out there and some knowledge. Maybe I can help out some people. Yes. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, and what health sector you're in. Okay. So um, ever since I was little, little, I, I, I knew and I could feel that there was energy that ran through our body and that that's really what our our bodies run on is, is electrical energy, but it's not really electrical, it's electromagnetic. Our brain pulses through the body um, frequency signals, very much like an EKG for the heart, only all the organs in the body have their own specific waveform electromagnetic key, like they're all cut to different tissues, different cells. Well, so I, I aim straight for um, uh, medical school and was very much let down as I was approaching and getting close to entering that um, and ended up going for biomedical engineering, electrical engineering, and organic chemistry. So I, I, I studied these um, three areas because they, they came together. This, this is really how the body functions um, by covering all aspects of, of that. Um, so when I um, finished my two years at um, Tufts New England Medical um, in downtown Boston, I was a biomed engineer there and an OR tech. I worked in the OR. I ran all the electronic equipment, and this was monitoring equipment, diagnostics, um, interactive, everything that plugged in the wall or ran on batteries in the entire hospital. I would need to do periodical checkouts monthly or, or every three months, um, troubleshooting, repairs, and, um, and um, just uh, training, general knowledge and teaching to the staff. Um, so from there, I still didn't have my answers. How does the body work? Nobody seemed to be able to tell anybody exactly how this process works. So then I got an offer to join a pacemaker company in Miami, Cordis Corporation, in 1980. And um, I started to understand because once you go in and you start working with people with um, cardiac, um, um, you know, areas of work, you, you're, you're understanding that it really is electrical signals coming from the brain. Um, through an entire chemical pathway, it's chemical reactions that cause electromagnetic 
um, um, frequency signals. They're actually talking. And, and the wild part is the body function with all of these signals, this about a trillion different types of signals that our body runs on, since we have 70 trillion cells in our body um, as an average, well, these um, signals function um, with very, very small power, small voltage, but they're functioning between 0 and 10,000 hertz of frequency. So frequency energy starts out in the realm of sound, what we can hear. Our bodies work only in that area, 0 to 10,000 hertz. We, we can act, if, if the power was higher, we could actually hear the signals going through. If we amplify those signals using, um, oh, just like a radio pickup, um, mini amplifier with a, an inductor pickup, like little, it's like a little microphone. Um, you can hear that small, small power signal that the brain is pushing through the whole body. Our system from pure wave with these mats and uh, coils built right in are doing exactly that thing. But yeah, so this just, is this is a mat. So it's a mat that you lay yeah. on and get various benefits from. And there's there's a lot of mats out there. Like there's a beamer and there's other ones that I'm you know, RS, OMI. Yeah. It nah. keeps going and going. Yeah, and I'm not a huge fan of those for various reasons. So so that's what we're talking about right now. So let's continue our discussion about, you know, how does this type of mat, you know, improve the cells functioning. Okay. So PEMF, stand, um, the standard systems out there, they just, they do what, um, what my neural stem did. I worked on a neural stem for this pacemaker company. Um, I was the director and project engineer of um, the first implantable external neural stem. It blocks pain. As soon as you turn it on, boom, pain gone. But how are we blocking the pain? We were blocking these signals that I, I was talking about. We actually put a pacemaker lead right up into the spinal column to the base of the brain, right in the gateway where the nerves all bundle up. And we could target and just flip the switch, shut off pain from the waist down, the left side of the body, the right side of the body. And, and the way we did this was we put in EMF. There's good EMF, which is electromagnetic frequencies or fields. And then there's bad EMFs, which is um, technology-caused EMFs. These are static. Like that. Okay. Um, that's actually radiation, by the way. And um, so in finding that the, the body runs on these very small um, signals, um, we could put EMF into the spinal column right up in these nerve bundles and right out of the pacemaker lead. It was putting EMF all over the outside sheath of the nerves. It was actually static. Like when you rub a balloon on your belly and you get static and, and, it's, and your hair you know, can, can stick up or you can shock somebody when you touch them in the dry weather. That's EMF. So we put EMF right inside the body and surrounded the nerves with EMF and blocked the signals to the brain. This immediately shuts off pain. But it also shuts off communication, all communication coming out of those cells and tissues from that area. And then coming back from the brain to those tissues and cells, that's also blocked. So this is something that um, was a Band-Aid. It never healed anything. And it's still in use today worldwide. Um, they, I'm sure they licensed it out to many, many uh, companies. And this is the, the Electro-STEM? Elect yeah, this is electro the Electro-STEM. Elect yeah, yeah. Electro. Ooh, I got uh -huh. that. At, when I went to physical therapy, when my lower back was hurting, I got on one of those every time I went to the physical therapist, and I felt amazing. But then you walk out of the office and go home. <laughs> one day. You're good for one day. And after they turn it off, it all comes back. That's why I was in that, three that days became a week. The, Yeah, that became the TENS unit, transcutaneous yeah. uh, electrical stimulation. Um, so we did it. Um, in the very small way directly to the tissues and nerves inside the body with a pacemaker lead. And um, we didn't cure a thing, but yet we got people their lives back. When they would turn that thing on, they could run it for a couple hours. But after two and a half hours back then, um, the communications blocked going to the tissues in and out. 
they start to die off. They putrefy. You're actually melting the, the brain stem if you left it on more than two and a half hours. And today, um, they can run it um, on many people um, up to six to eight hours. So they have an on time where they get their lives back. They can get up out of a wheelchair. I mean, really, these people would get up off the, the um, operating room table. We'd have them sit up, get off, and walk around just by flipping the switch on. And there was a lot of crying that went on, always. I mean, it was just it was a wonderful thing. Um, just had to be careful how you used it. And um, anyway, now with um, technology, cell phones, when these are up against our bodies – and they're very close. This is a very simple EMF meter. It's a Trifield 100XE. They were on Amazon. They're like $140. It shows the radiation, though. It goes right up. And I think you can see that. And there you go. Did you accidentally summon me? No, I didn't. But there we are. <laughs> <laughs> That's Siri talking. She doesn't like the EMF either. So um, sure when we're talking like this, this EMF goes into our tissues and it sh really shuts off communication for quite a while. And it does build up, but we're getting it more from, um, from everywhere we go than, than ever before. Oh, it's, and yeah, when you look at your wireless internet networks, I mean, there's 30 or 50 or more. So if you live in a condensed area like New York City or an apartment building, there are going to be so many all disrupting your all energy on. field and your cells functioning. Yes, yes, exactly. So we need to figure out a way to clean this off. And um, there are companies that are starting to come out with products that really do work in a big way. But the number one so far is this pure wave uh, therapy technology where they – they patented the um, elimination of EMF, electromagnetic or interfering fields, from the body and the surrounding area. They did it solely um, to be able to communicate to cells directly with their little, um, very small power electromagnetic signals, waveform signals, so they could actually unlock the cells and get them to charge up. And that's their other patent. They charge up the energy in cells, actually turning on mitochondrial function and proving its science substantiation is all there. It's, it's, um, they have hundreds of studies showing um, how they got to these accolades and patented each aspect of how a cell functions, um, how it actually communicates in and out to the to the brain and back um, therefore they could um, increase the energy in the cells and cause a calcium cascade dump which is a detox at the cellular level so when we run this system we don't really feel like we're detoxing at all but yet we really are and and we know that when you have EMF or the cell phones um, right next to you for five minutes um, your cells just, uh, they open up those receptor walls that let calcium in. That's the biggest culprit to, it's my personal opinion, the biggest culprit to our disease today that's hitting us everywhere. You, you see it all starting up in such a huge way. It's like everybody, everybody's achy and, and has pain and, and discomfort and things aren't functioning. Their cells are, um, they're in, um, dysregulation. They're, 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 um, they're lower energy than they should be, and the inside of the cell walls become clogged with calcium atoms or silt. Okay, so our cells today are working on low voltage. And so, so what does that mean? What happens when cells are uh, operating with low voltage, not the amount of voltage they're supposed to have, and how does the pure wave solve that problem? All of the cells in our body are like little batteries. So they hold energy, and then they therefore will utilize them for different functions. Um, and, and the body does have a priority list. It knows what to use first, second, third, what's most important. Um, when an area starts to become charged up, it'll choose in that area what's the most important thing to, to um, give nutrients and supply first before the other area parts in that area. So cells are supposed to operate at a certain voltage, um, and we know EMF is disrupting that. Um, is there anything else that's causing that low voltage in the cell, and what should the voltage be? You said 770 millivolts? 
Yeah, 70 millivolts um, on the Internet and everywhere, it seems to be the, the – threshold where we want to be above 70 millivolts to have optimally functioning functioning cellular function. In other words, every part of the body, every cell in the body, um, it needs at least uh, three quarters. For instance, children, young children run 90 to 100 millivolts in all the cells in their body as an average. Um, of course, different tissues are slightly higher, other tissues are slightly lower, but that's, that's a pretty good point to hold it at. Um, I'm finding that I can actually measure how much EMF is um, permeated and stuck all over the tissues of a person just by putting a, a, a phone emitting radiation right up against the forearm and having an EMF meter on the other side just like this. Um, when the radiation goes off, if we have very high EMF in here and low cellular energy below 70 millivolts, um, the needle just pins. It'll, it, this, this radiation goes in and it sticks, and it just cranks that needle all the way up three quarters um, as if I just put the cell phone right against it, and yet it's going through the, my entire arm. When I measure children, they, they remain on zero. They're above 70 millivolts, and that seems to be the threshold where EMF doesn't stick. It just, it just blows off. It just lets go. So we can actually become resilient um, to electromagnetic um, radiation or electrosmog radiation, as it's um, seen everywhere, written that way. Um, and even driving in your car in the front seat with a dashboard, you're getting EMF the entire time. It's emitting all over you, and you can measure it with such a simple meter. Now, most people can measure it, but they don't know what to do. This is like x-rays. You know, it's, it's invisible. It's electronics, and, and what's worse is it's not just electronics. It's electromagnetic electronics. So, um, but this is how the body runs. Every 20 milliseconds, the whole body gets a zap. It goes through, and the ones that need things will chime back in the same fashion. So it's like music or sound. Our bodies are in only working in that area that we're really, our bodies are music boxes. It's probably why we all love music and the beat and rhythm and, and harmonizing. Yeah, and the, the music frequencies are healing or they're very jarring and disruptive and irritating. Oh, absolutely true. Um, the ones that are healing have been shown to be the ones that crisscross harmonics. They actually tickle your healing initiators bio, biologically in your bodies and set, set up the, the, the healing mechanisms um, when you're listening to music and it tickles. That's it. It just, it just hit. Yeah, it's like, it's like, oh, I love that song. So right away you start getting little tickles. Um, I describe them as champagne bubbles. Very, very slight, very subliminal. But then when you hit the best part of the song, oh, I love that part of the song. That's where those, those harmonics just crisscrossed. And that is what this, this mat actually does. It um, sends out crisscrossed harmonics of all the different frequencies of all the tissues in the whole body all at once. Yeah, and so you're, talk you're talking about the pure wave mat. Yeah, I am. Yeah, the other... Other PEMFs, they, they're all the same. They, they just pulse, bang, 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 power on, power off. They'll make a sawtooth shape, and they say that's you know, better than the square shape, or the square, square wave is, 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 was used in NASA. Oh, please. NASA, they analyzed all of this. They know what they, they found out there, and they won't use anybody's technology. Once they research something like this, and they did this, you know, 20, 30 years ago, um, they make their own systems. Yeah, so yeah, so this company, Pure Wave, was in the 80s, the very first company to start uh, making these types of mats, and so they have this patented technology that other people try to copy and don't are not able to do it. Can you discuss that a little bit? These people um, from the Pure Wave technology, they they're from Germany, and they worked with the Russians as well. Um, they got the first system, their system, in space as a test. It was in the Mir space station. And it, it's the only one that's ever been in space. Um, after that, like I said, they made up their own products. <laughs> that was that. So um, when they discovered these um, 
that the you know that the body could actually uh, we could synthetically run the signals through the whole body as if the brain was doing it and, and cause healing and uh, uh, remove anxiety and and make basically all of your cellular function and your brain synapses your neurons everything just running optimally by increasing energy up um, they went ahead and patented it so that the whole world would have the technology revealed no other company i haven't seen any i've seen there's 146 different pemf systems out there that i know of and i have not seen any science substantiation showing exactly that it does this to the body or that to the body they just don't have that um, they're mostly fluff and marketing and they're running on the wave of oh we're a PEMF yeah and uh, people have to be very very careful because some of these PEMF meds can be very very harmful it can emit very high levels of an EMF that might make you feel good temporarily but then ultimately are harming your body you just hit the nail on the head right there. That's spot on. Um, most PMFs have huge EMF. Um, the WHO uh, Worldwide Health Organization, the WHO organization shows that 10 millivolts of EMF electrosmog radiation is the maximum that any person should be exposed to on a daily basis. This system runs when it's on, on 5 millivolts. And when it's off, it's on zero. When you look at all these other PEMFs, and I run around measuring them with a very simple EMF tri-field meter. Um, when you measure them, they're 680 millivolts or 430 millivolts. And when they're off, they're still running 290 and, and, and 330. I've, I've just, it shows me that they're all working like my old neural stem where they're just blocking the, the pain signals going to the brain. Um, temporarily, the body only supplies 30% um, circulation from the heart through, through the body. This is all through veins and arteries. All the rest is our capillary and microcapillary system. That's what flows and floods blood in and out with nutrients and removal of waste um, through the circulatory system. 70% of our body runs that way by pulsing and counting the whole body is acting like a heart, okay? Got it? So a heart is pumping 30% of the blood, and that's through all the big, the big um, circulatory uh, supply. Through all the small microcapillary and capillary system, um, we, ha we, we pulse five to eight times every 20 seconds as an average for a healthy human being where the blood will flow into these capillaries, and it's like the tide came in, and then it withdraws and the tide comes out. Um, it's really, really important that we, we do this or we're going to lose circulation in all of our extremities and, and surface area and fascia everywhere. So um, all these PEMF systems, that's their health aspect. They regulate by pulsing and trying to get close to that 20 millisecond window of pulse and then shut off. When areas are damage like if you bang your arm this is an area now that the voltage just dropped in these tissues and my circulation has dropped down um, so now if it's injured badly it'll be cut off with inflammation I won't get any supply or very low supply of blood and nutrients to this damaged area but when I'm pulsing artificially to, to make sure I get that five to eight um, vaso squeeze or vascular squeeze motion through the body, these capillaries will do all their best to push in and um, stimulate and deliver nutrients and supply to the damaged area, and then they withdraw and draw out the waste. So that's your healing aspect of all PMFs. Yeah, and that's why I've never recommended any of these like mat type devices before because I really didn't see a lot of compelling evidence. Uh, there were a lot of testimonials on the site, but really not, not anything that was really satisfying to me in order to make a recommendation uh, to, for, to my clients to, to get one. Because I've had Beamer contact me trying to get me to represent them and blah, 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 blah. Um, but with your mat, um, it's very, very impressive. Um, the, the results that people get, and let's talk about some of the benefits that can be had from using a, a pure wave mat. Okay, so the difference is that um, we don't 
compare the pure wave system to the other PEMS. We just tell you what ours does. And when you look at what ours does and then you look at what others do, um, you'll find that any of these MLM companies, they, they're like holding each other's hand and telling each other the same stories over and over and over so they can each repeat the same thing and get other people to just hook on and buy. And that's, um, that's not a great thing. We want healing. We want the real deal. And the, the difference is um, when you are talking to the cells specifically and having them open up and energize, they start functioning, functioning optimally to the point where they, they're like they're working and fixing and changing for the next 8 to 12 hours just from doing a 15-minute session on this thing. Um, they'll they'll fix and change in a very very optimal way that 20 millisecond um, pulse uh, break this pure wave uh, technology they own the patent on that but that's just such a minor component of what can be done when you talk to the cells directly and have them open up and clean themselves out without a, a feeling of bad detox and and then to energize and draw in energy and nutrients um, at the level of like what a child would have if you had that much energy. So it was all about energy, how much energy is in the cells and how much work they can do in a short time. So with this type of system, the pure wave, we see black and blue marks and injuries, bleeding under the skin, open wounds, um, hematomas, um, everything dissipates like right before your eyes in, in about 75% in one session. And um, what do we see in one session? We see 80 to 100% relief. And most times these are people that for the first time in 20 or 30 years since an awful car accident or disease, um, it's just it starts to become eliminated every time you run the session. And it's not a Band-Aid. It, your body will fix itself a little bit every single time. And, and every time you run a session, it's more and more and more. And it doesn't go backwards. It just keeps accumulating. So that's what the real system does. Um, this is the founding company of PEMF. They discovered the technology. They were the first to invent it. The first to make the, um, the uh, they weren't the first to make PEMF, by the way. That was the 1800s. But the first to make a body mat where they could energize the whole body on a on a mat that could be in a person's home or a clinic, and um, in 15 or 20 minutes, their their cells are functioning so optimally because they've been increased in energy, and then that EMF has you know from from all this has been removed from the body, but the effect lasts eight to 12 hours. Oh, that's another thing. Um, we know when you talk on the phone or you have any kind of uh, EMF radiation very close to you and all over your body, um, your blood clumps up. It does reload. And um, this is all over the Internet. There's many people out there that do live blood analysis, um, and they're starting to learn how to utilize that to make people better. So the, the EMF, like how does that negatively affect the cells? Okay. So we know when they're static on the outside cell membranes, it's disrupting fields. It's, it's static. It actually um, ruins the communication going up to the brain and from the brain back down to those tissues. Um, so we're missing some of the information or not getting it at all. When we pulse with any type of PEMF that's uh, small, very low voltage like the brain does, you know, microtesla, that very small window is 0 to 40 microtesla. Um, this is where you can talk to the cells. So when we do that, um, we, we single out all the blood cells. They become slippery. They're no longer reload or stacked up or sticky. They don't have static all over them when we're pulsing. Even though like uh, um, these PEMFs that have high EMF output, you know, the electrosmog, um, when they're pulsing, the blood separates. And it can be shown on most of these ultra-small voltage systems like Beamer, IMRS. But when they turn it off, that blood goes right back and coagulates. And we've seen this. And it can be science substantiated by anyone, anyone doing live blood analysis. As soon as they shut it off, the, the cells do not remain single file. So 
PEMFs, when they're running, people feel good on them, even if they're harsh. And many of them are harsh. Um, people are becoming more sensitive to um, small electromagnetic uh, radiation um, that, you know, is irritating. So they're starting to realize that when they run um, a, a regular standard PEMF system, they feel good. Um, the blood cells separated. All of a sudden, their oxygen is increased, their circulation is increased, and they're timing the pulse bursts on, off, on, off, although they're not optimal. The optimal that was discovered is 20 millivolts. The pure wave technology people in Germany, they own the 20 millivolts. They discovered it. They were the first, the founders of the research. And they gave it to the world by showing it in patents. So that proves that they can charge up a cell. They can eliminate and remove EMF radiation from the cells and the whole body. And, um, and they cause a calcium cascade dump of cleansing of the cell in a very soft, nurturing way that's um, not a bad feeling of detox. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. so, so let's talk more about benefits that people will feel when, like, you witnessed, uh, you know, working with, you know, so many different people using the Pure Wave mat. What are some of the improvements they see? When you sh run a Pure Wave system for 15 minutes, even five minutes in science substantiation, it shows all those blood cells separate and they remain separated for eight to 12 hours just from running a 15-minute session because we've removed and eliminated the EMF from the whole body and then we've energized the cells. If they're up near 70 millivolts surrounding EMF, you're walking around resilient like children. If we keep our energy up and we come in out of the electrical storm and, and get rid of the EMF off of our bodies and energize up to that 70 millivolts or a little higher, um, we're resilient. We're walking around like little young children. So when we energize up to that level, all these damaged areas, the body will go right after each area on its own, on a priority list. Um, when we uh, lie down on the full body system, this is the length of our entire body. This is what we put in our bed. It turns on and off by itself if you want it to. I like mine to go off at midnight for 24 minutes. It turns on, powers up, runs, and powers down and shuts off. Um, it, uh, it doesn't make any noise and there's no light, so it doesn't wake me, no beeps. And then at 6 a.m., I have it go on and off again before I wake up. So now I've been energized all night. And we can actually flip the switch and put people into parasympathetic by running the RELAX program. And this is uh, where brain stimulation, when it sees a little step up in the lower range between 0 and 15 hertz, um, the brain will put us into a relaxed state of parasympathetic. That's what it's called. That's where we do the most amount of healing. And it's when we go into a deep sleep. And this system does that. We just flip the switch. And Everybody, even the little Chihuahua dogs, when they're barking, 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 it's like we're, they're on remote control. It's like, watch this. I'll put the left. <laughs> right, start. And, and within one minute, two minutes, that dog just settles right down. It might be the first time a little Chihuahua has ever settled down. That. <laughs> and, and it does it on all of them, yeah. everyone I've tried. So um, that's a, uh, something that we do that others don't do. PEMFs. They run one or two frequencies out of that 10,000 hertz range because they're not making signals to actually have the keys for every tissue in the body, every cell. They're just trying to stimulate one little area, 15 hertz, bang, 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 bang. So what hertz is, is is different than power. Hertz is how many pulses per second, tick, 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 tick per second. And when you tick, 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 the brain counts. It causes a vaso squeeze. Um, here and there, they'll get a hit or miss. Some people will find some great health change um, in a fairly short time, which is wonderful. Um, but yet, all those other tissues in the body remain low energy, and they're dousing them with high EMF the entire time, which helps block pain signals. So people will be like, oh, my pain, it's diminished. Yeah, it's really, you know, my hip. It's not, oh, that's so good. But that's temporary. Their EMF is huge. And it's a very difficult thing to remove from very small pulsed electronic emitters. Um, and they don't have that technology. I have not seen one that has come out with it um, since this PureWave company, PureWave Technology, 
out of Germany. Yeah, so let's talk about some of the, the benefits people will feel. So what are some of the, the changes that you've seen and improvements in different health issues that people have reported? Okay, well, I can talk about myself personally. I'm, I'm pretty much a poster child. Um, I have my grandmother's disease. She uh, bestowed that upon me. It's called Lederhose disease, similar to Dupertin's. It's like their sister diseases. Um, I get huge, huge um, fibroids that form on uh, tendons. My tendons are actually micro-tearing. They're wearing out too soon. So that's a DNA um, disposition gene that's broken or, or not exactly uh, correct. Um, so uh, the more you use your fingers and hands and feet, um, the more the um, tendons have little micro tears and cause fibroids, so they're wearing out very quickly. Um, and I was pretty active through my life um, with um, sports and fishing and boating and everything. Um, so these huge lumps form with uh, horrible detrimental um, results. Um, all the nerves wrap up um, in the areas of the fibroids. They're pulling and tearing and the pain is excruciating, but then those fibroids break away and go through your blood system, or through mine, into the brain, into the organs, the teeth, the jaw, that's an organ. Within two years, I went from beautiful teeth, like these, and these are my real teeth. I fixed them with this machine. I'm not kidding you. Um, I had full-blown periodontal disease, big huge spaces between my teeth, all four and five pockets and mostly fives at the, at the end um, of the two years. It, it, they told me just prepare in another year, you're gonna lose all of your teeth, there's no stopping it. I, got, I looked at getting veneers and they said, don't even bother, you're, you're already beyond it. And um, the bone had already recessed so far. So when I put this system in my bed, um, it was for my feet because right away in one session, the inflammation, what we generally see and what I saw on me is that we came down 75% in size of these big, huge fibroids or, or plantar fibromatosis on the bottom of my feet and in my hands. And the pain was 100% eliminated on me in, in 20 minutes for the first time in my life. And, and it had got so severe. I had... Um, um, blood pressure of 195 over 145 just from the pain. Um, I was at the point where I didn't want to do any more meds. Um, I refused them, but they said if I hit 200, my heart would explode after that, and I, I'd have to be on them. That's when I, we went and tried this thing. Um, and in one session, I cried. <laughs> I stood up, and the pain was 100% gone. And the inflammation was down three quarters of the way. So um, anyway, we took it home. But um, while we were still at this conference, um, it was a product that my wife knew about. She just didn't know how good it was and w what it could actually do. When I started reading the research that they show right online and the patents, and you know, when you submit a patent, that's the real deal. It shows how it works, what the mechanism is, what the biological interaction is, and, and that, you know, and how, f how well will it work? That's the thing. This thing just does it. It's, it's not a question of that. It's not, oh, let me try it. And if it works on me, I think I'll, I'll, I'll want to do this. Uh, uh, it works on people and animals. It even works on plants. So anyway, I had asthma, um, 36 years of occupational chronic asthma from working as a chemist. I was an organic chemist and um, burnt my lungs out. And then I was on steroid spray for 30 years, Advair, became Advair. Before that, it was two or three different medicines that made Advair. Um, twice a day, I could not reach it, get out of my bed until I reached over to my night table, grabbed the, the inhaler and, and took a puff. Um, otherwise, I mean, I'm burning and my chest is on fire every morning and every night for my whole life. I had already got to the point where my heart was running backwards, inverted T waves. My lungs were always clogged up. They looked like, uh, they told me it looked like emphysema on my x-rays because of all the, um, the, the phlegm and the, the uh, junk particles all through my lungs. It was speckled from head to toe. Um, and, uh, and I had hardening of the arteries and uh, the high pressure coming out of the bottom of the heart, the, the bottom artery. So that's me. Um, 
in that session, they told me, okay, so now you've had a life-changing event. We, we see this all, always. Um, stick around. You'll watch others. And I did. Um, they said, we understand you have asthma, so we're going to send you back to the room at the end of the day with a, a mat. You put it in the bed and run it tonight. If you feel like you don't need to do the puff because you don't get the big burning and, and the asthma, then just run the mat and see if you make it through the night. And you should. And the next morning, same thing. So sure enough, that night, I didn't even have a tickle. I mean, that was incredible. So I ran the full body mat. I didn't even do this little concentrated pillow. That works even, even better because that targets areas. And we could target densities of, of tissue, layers of tissue specifically. Um, so I could target lungs. I can target bone. I can target the eyes, um, lymphatics digestion. We found that the brain and the belly are almost identical, and they really are, aren't they? They, they look the same even, um, intestines, brain. They target under the optimal curve, the bell curve for, um, for physical and biological effect. It also targets different states of mind, parasympathetic or in the middle or sympathetic. We can flip the switch and run any one of the three. For the pro ball players, for, for professional ball games, they increase their stamina and their strength, so their endurance and strength, 20 to 30% when they flip that vital switch, and they end up breaking their own records on the very first sessions that they try this machine. Well, that is just incredible. I mean, it's just, I love hearing stories like this where people are using well-established technology to to heal their chronic issues, and it's just working with, uh, you know, how the body naturally works, just increasing the cell voltage, and then voila, the body works how it's supposed to. It has the energy that it needs to heal. Yeah, yeah. I never believed, personally, I never believed the body could heal itself that well. I always felt like it just wasn't strong enough, and maybe it worked when we were younger for some reason, but it doesn't work now as we're, you know, getting into adulthood. And and I went through some things. I mean, I had my disease going the whole time. Um, but when I tried this thing and I energized the cells up, I mean, you feel good right away. You Your brain starts working immediately when it gets a huge increase of oxygen. One of the um, studies with this uh, product showed 80 to 900% increase in oxygen saturation to the tissues. Everybody feels it. They feel it immediately, and it doesn't just wear off. It goes all day. And then when you do it at night, it goes all night. But the key is to relax the body and get rid of these EMFs. They stress us also. So when we relax, yeah, we everything functions better. Yeah, my biggest concern with 5G coming is that the amount of megahertz that it's pulsing at is just going to be like a jackhammer to our body's electrical system, our energy field, our pineal gland. It's just going to be just hitting it so hard. We're not going to be producing melatonin. Our bodies are going to be stressed out all the time. Cortisol. People are There's going to be a rash of sleep issues in addition to other issues. And so it's, it's, already, just, it's already happening. Yeah, it's already happening. But it's worse. It's going to get worse. It's the Wi-Fi. Yeah, Wi-Fi is, you know, three... 3 billion to 6 or 8 billion tick, 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 tick a second. But when you have um, such tight frequency pulses, you, you actually lose the, the energy, the voltage, or the power. It's, it's very low. So they're trying to you know, make people feel like it would never hurt us. Now on the Internet, it's being revealed how it's hurting us. We have such smart people in the world now, and they're all talking worldwide, internationally. It's photo communication between the cells one cell on the body like when I scratch my nose like this my feet know it the whole body knows it and it's through photon release actual um, light energy release that goes between the cells from cell to cell to cell throughout the whole body Wi-Fi disrupts that and 5g will disrupt that in a big way so we're gonna start losing some communication there doesn't mean necessarily we're going to damage our tissues. You see, when, when I'm talking about the one that really hurts us now, it's, it's 60 hertz. This is 50 to 60 hertz of EMF. The cell so phone. When you, 
Yeah, and not just cell phones. It's it's everything. Your power outlets, um, your Bluetooth mouse, your uh, um, your your mouse pad. When you plug them in, they're on zero EMF. The electronics that run the Bluetooth is normally what gives you the big zap of EMF. But these are all 60 hertz. That's only 60 tick 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 a second. So these are very wide waveforms with energy, and they pack a punch. When you get Wi-Fi, you're so tight, it's hitting the space between our cells. It's the energy between our, all of our particles. But we need that too. The number one um, comment when, when um, I see people running these systems at the medical conferences, um, my wife does these conferences all over, all year long. They always come back the next day and say, I slept really good. Like really, I haven't slept in 10 years. It was the machine, wasn't it? And we're like, yeah, just stand here a couple of minutes. Sure enough, another doctor walks up and we say, so did you sleep well last night? He goes, oh my God. He goes, I don't usually sleep. Was it this? Is this what did it? And I go, just stand here. Before long, we have four, five, six doctors all coming up saying the same thing. So um, now when we go to conferences, my wife, um, she says, all right, let's, let's, let's see who, who slept well last night. <laughs> Line up the doctors to tell us Line they up. slept. Get them, yeah, get them in here. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's everywhere. We just, we see it everywhere. So you have to do two sessions a day? You should, yes. It's really designed as a maintenance product. Um, you start out going after the, the injured areas, as I refer it to, and um, within a week or so, you've generally seen a huge amount of relief, and now it's lasting even longer and longer and longer, it's, and it doesn't come back as bad each time. It's less and less. When you do one session, it's, it's a big wow, wow. Um, so it's really good. But when you do three sessions in one week, it's, it's really, really good. Um, the changes and the effects and, and corrections are phenomenal, and they're definite, and they're ex you see the changes, you feel the changes, you see it on the other people. But then, running six sessions or 12 sessions, that's where you're really set pretty good. And um, it doesn't go backwards, no matter what has changed. Like with me, I had glasses ever since high school. And I wore these glasses um, far away and up close in night driving. So I had three different pairs my, ever since high school. Um, and it was getting worse as I'm getting, you know, into my 50s and then 60s. So um, I noticed after we were on the system running it automatically in the bed, after three months, my teeth corrected. My periodontist said, oh, my God, what are you doing? It went backwards. And I said, what do, what do you mean? Where am I at? She said, look, they're all twos and threes, and your gums grew back completely on the bottom jaw. And, and she go, I said, she goes, I don't know about the bone. I go, well, let's x-ray it. We x-rayed it. It grew back 50% in most of the big spaces. Oh, and that's well established in the research that PEMF grows back bone. Oh, we, we, yes. know, we know that. Yeah. yeah, that's fully FDA approved. And that's just with one single frequency only concentrating on um, the frequency cut codes around bone signals. That's all. Realize you can do the whole body. Why not? So that's what these people did. And um, that's where their technology came from. In um, one month, my teeth were completely rejuvenated. My gums were all closed up. No more roots showing on any of the teeth. And my bone has grown back. It's so good that you would never know I ever had a problem in my whole life. No, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh, and glasses no more. Yeah, I, I noticed that. I'm like, you look uh -huh. really young. You look really, really healthy. Yeah, my skin changed. Everything. Everything is, I'm not supposed to say it. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> everything's we working. Call it, we call it youthing instead of aging. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, anti aging. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's just a matter of energy. And then the cells, they have all their communication. They're all like stem cells. Every stem cell, every cell in the body has a job. And they know what it is. It's a DNA chart of what they follow, their work, daily workload. So every cell knows what to do. Problem is, when you take like a flashlight, half the battery juice is gone and, and the light dims and that's how much of a flashlight you're going to get right yeah, yeah. so when you have a cell that's running at half power 40 50 millivolts you used to run at 80 or 90 or 100 well 
the cell's still there. They they keep reproducing, but they keep dysfunctioning. And they when they reproduce, they're using energy. And slowly, we lose energy. That's what aging and disease and injury is. It's loss of energy in the cells. And then those tissues and cells now dysfunction. So what this system does is it, it regulates. It energizes everything back up and things start running optimally and they haven't lost their instructions. They know what to do, just like when we were little children. So this is amazing. Now I can understand why, you know, maybe 20 or 30 years ago the world wasn't ready for this and the governments were very afraid of things like this. But now the doctors are the ones who are bringing this to the public. Yeah. They're bringing it to their patients. They're showing how it works. The doctors can show testimonials and studies. And we, we receive them. My, my wife, Tony Gorin, she gets these things every day, every other day from doctors all over that are running the system and showing the changes in their, their patients. And they're allowed to tell and show and, 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 and do more science substantiation to, to go further with it. Everything works well when the cells are pumped up and energized. And I never realized how important that was, even through all the years of schooling and, and uh, experience working in the hospitals. Um, I never realized that that was really the key. They didn't t teach us this. It's not in the schools. It will be, though. Yes, yes, it will. Yes, it will, oh, if we can help yeah. it. You, know, you are. You absolutely are. You're bringing it to the world. And now, yeah. And next, it needs to be in the medical schools. And we need to be teaching even children in high school. This thing is burning radiation and it's going to be worse. Yeah. yeah, when it hits 5G, oh my goodness. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm really concerned about that. But with tools like the PureWave Mat, I mean, you can have protection against EMF and cleaning your body of EMF and reversing the damage that EMF does. So you have lots of tools to be able to reverse this damage, even though we have 5G coming and we can't control it, it's coming, uh, we, have, we can control our bodies and the damaging effects that this EMF and uh, dirty electricity and Wi-Fi and everything has on our bodies. So James, thanks so much yes. for coming on the yes. show. So appreciate your uh, really clear, detailed explanation of how the body works and how it's affected and how the pure wave mat improves its functioning. So thanks for coming on. Thank you. Thank you, Wendy.